Hey everybody, today I'm doing banana pudding from scratch and I want to show you guys two versions of that. I'm going to start with the non-traditional first. I'm not using wafers, I'm using banana pound cake. That of course is butter, sugar, and cream cheese creamed together for about 10 minutes on a speed of three. It was not up high. Then I added in my eggs one at a time, room temperature. Then I put in banana cream instant pudding mix, mixed for another 10 seconds. Then I put in my flavor in another 10 second mix. My wet ingredients is banana puree and buttermilk. My dry ingredients is just cake flour. Start with cake flour, end with cake flour. You should be turning this down for this wet and dry ingredient mix on a stir. It should not be going fast. Last addition of flour, turn it off and fold that in. Just like this, just fold it in. You don't want to overwork that batter. Now fill this pan up. I sprayed it first with Baker's Joy. Don't want any sticking going on. Put it in, shake it around to even it out. Give it a few taps because you're trying to get the air bubbles out. Now I put, my, I put wet baking strips on mine, but you don't have to do that. This is so light and fluffy. It's like a sponge cake, y'all. Moving on to this pudding that is cornstarch, a pinch of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, whisk it a little bit, then add in three egg yolks, y'all. Not whites, just the yolks. Then you want to make sure it's nice and creamy like this before adding in two cups of evaporated milk. Then you want to mix this up well. Once you do that, you can pour it in your saucepan, turn on your heat to very low, then add in two cups of whole milk, and I put in some banana flavor. I put it in while it was cooking, of course. I don't know what other folks do, but this is what I do. Then I put in some condensed milk, and I am stirring this up. I'm going to be standing here 20 minutes, y'all. Increase that heat very slowly so the eggs can cook and you don't burn that milk. When it's nice and thick, turn it off, let it cool, put it in the refrigerator. I'm telling you, when it come out, I always hit mad with that just so it could be creamy. This is my chunky whipped cream. I started with some, with some room temperature cream cheese. I added some marshmallow fluff. That is so good, y'all. I'm telling you, those two together. But I added in a little vanilla flavor and some sliced bananas. I took my Chessman cookies. They were in a bag, and I beat those suckers up. I tossed them in there and with maybe like a half a tub of Cool Whip. When I tell y'all, everything individually is delicious. So you can put your cake on a plate. You can add on your pudding, your chunky um, Cool Whip. You can do whatever you want to do. Everything is delicious. Or just make parfaits. Some people don't want to sit there and make no parfaits. They feel like it's tedious. So they want to put theirs in like a little pie plate and just layer it up like that. I'm telling y'all, these strawberries were in the refrigerator two hours with two teaspoons of sugar and they were absolutely delicious when they came out so firm and so sweet now this of course is just my traditional this is some of my pudding of course that i just used for my parfaits that's my mama's recipe y'all she taught me this recipe y'all so long ago I, I shouldn't say so long ago like it was ages but it was y'all i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that alone but all you're doing for this here is so simple you're just layering you're layering your wafers, your pudding, you're putting on your bananas, and you just want to keep doing that. You can do it in any order, however you want to do it. Put that pudding on there. She always say it don't have to be pretty. Just put that pudding on there. If it's good, you good. I like a lot of bananas. I know people don't. This is my last layer, so I'm going to just put on some just anything, y'all. You don't got to do nothing special. Just put your cookies on there whole or crunch them up. I want to know if you guys will at least try that parfait or you just stuck on this traditional. Thanks for watching.